Guys, we're going to start off with the quads. Um, so the first exercise that we're going to cover will be a sissy squat or a heel elevated squat. So the target muscle group for this exercise is our quads. Um, so first off, we're just going to start with just a body weight version of it. So we're going to elevate our heels, feet round hip width to shoulder width apart. We can go arms out in front and we're going to slowly lower down, nice and controlled, letting the knees progress nice and far forward. So we're loading the quads. All right, staying nice and upright, and then we're gonna push back up and squeeze. All right, so we're gonna just start with a couple of reps there. Magic. Now, we can make it a lot more difficult or we can start to add some load. So we'll start with some dumbbells. So we can just hold the dumbbells like up and in front, or you can do like a goblet squat position. So we'll start with just holding them, All right? Keeping them over the shoulders. And again, just performing your squats nice and controlled. Right. Alternatively, if you have a slightly heavier dumbbell or you only have one dumbbell, you could do a, like a goblet heel elevated sissy squat, holding it up, nice controlled again, all the way down. Now we're going to do a banded sissy squat or heel elevated squat. So we're just going to put it underneath our heels, right? We can get the band, either, we can either hold it or put it over our shoulders, like so. Again, so what this is going to do is going to increase the amount of tension at the top of the squat, making it more difficult for us to lock our knees out and finish the rep. So again, more loading through the quads. So you can hold onto the band, arms down in front, squat down, come back up, and nice big squeeze at the top. And again, as we've discussed, so with the sissy squats, we can also incorporate tempos or pulses. So you could do like a nice and slow eccentric, again, increasing the range of mo or not the range of motion, but the time under tension. Nice and slow, all the way down, so we can count one, two, three, and then come back up. Alternatively, we could use pulses. Right, so we could come down, do like a quarter rep, and then go again. And that's one. Like so. I really can't. Alright, so this is a traditional sissy squat. So we're going to hold on to something slightly in front of our body. We're going to elevate our heels. And from this position, we're going to allow the knees to really drive forward. So we get a nice big stretch through the quads. And we're going to lower ourselves down, all the way down as low as you can get. Our knees have traveled quite far forward. They're going to be doing a lot of work and it's going to challenge the quads quite a bit to then press back up and squeeze. Okay, these are a fantastic exercise if you have the range of motion and the stability to perform it. Um, go nuts. All right, so now we're going to just cover so a lunge or some variations of lunges that we can use at home. Uh, so we can just start off with like a body weight lunge, right? Just dropping straight down. Uh, we can shift the way that we're targeting the quadriceps by moving loading forward or elevating our heel. So we're getting more knee progression to target the quad a little bit more. But what we're gonna cover here is a slightly more advanced version that people could incorporate at home. And that's a Bulgarian split squat. So we're gonna increase the range of motion and again, increase the targeting on our quad on the front foot. A key consideration here is that we want to keep the weight pressing through that front foot and minimize use of the back foot as much as we can. That way we can target the quad a little bit more. So we're going to elevate our back foot, get into a nice comfortable stance where we can lower the back knee down and perform a squat on the front foot. So we come down nice and low and then pressing on the front foot, squeeze the quad back, nice controlled. All right, so we can do like pause, for a Bulgarian, we come down nice and low, hold, and then come back up. Or a pulse, we would go like all the way down, a quarter rep or a half rep, and then come back up. So we can add loading. If you have a pair of dumbbells, we can add them by your side, and you'll hold them like so. Alternatively, one dumbbell, again, we can go into a goblet position and hold it in front on your chest. Right, slide anterior loading. And same with the kettlebell. Right, so you can just hold that. Um, like our squats and many other exercises, we can decrease tempos, or we can increase tempos as we need. We can do pulses and other variations to make it more challenging. So again, pick something that is suitable to you, that's gonna be comfortable, and that you can do and perform for the required amount of reps or a higher rep range to get enough of a stimulus. If you're a little bit creative and you have a high stool, like so, we can even set up with a band and do a single-legged or a double-legged leg extension. 
right? So we can kind of mimic what we would experience on a normal leg extension by attaching the band down the bottom, underneath us, put the band around our ankle, down, right? Hold on nice and tight. Then we're gonna extend up, squeeze the quads, hold, all the way down, right? Again, like tension's gonna be quite high at the top of the rep. Uh, not exactly the same, but a pretty good use of a band, if you can. Now we'll go through just setting it up. So you want a stool that's gonna be quite high, something that has nothing underneath, nothing really impeding uh, the movement of your leg. Get that out of the way. And then we're just gonna attach a band to something that's stable. Um, just a consideration in this is you want to make sure the band is thick enough uh, and strong enough for the exercise, just because your quad is quite a strong muscle. Um, and also just be aware that these bands can snap. So for any other exercises, uh, just be wary of that, that your eyes uh, and head are safe and you're not going to be hurt in the process.